Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. We're currently sieging out um, Us Eslad and we are going to bring down their gate and then we're going to use our catapult and just slaughter the entire day of this army. Now this uh, gate should go down pretty quickly but I suppose just putting it even closer is not a bad idea. Now we are finally going to see a look at the new crossbows, which we haven't used before. The first Legio of Minas Tirith, that's quite cool. So let's check their missile damage. They do have 8 missile damage, that's not too bad. Uh, but they have a lot of defense, uh, which comes in very handy. So they will not take a lot of hits from other archers, which is their main... Uh, which is what uh, they really rely on. Now we're just going to have a defense, a couple of defensive units over here, as well as these guys can stay like over here. And you, except for you, just going to stand down here. And now let's just bring down the gate. I'm definitely going to use the catapult here and try to snipe out as many troops as we can. They do have a lot of Uruks and they have the Witch King himself. Let's see where he is. He's here, right here. So finally we're going to see the catapult as well. So this should be an exciting battle. Now let's just speed this up. They don't have any arrow towers. And there it goes. Beautiful. So we definitely want to use our archers to their full potential. As well as the catapult. I guess it can stand over here. And you guys could probably stand over here. And the archers are well positioned. But these guys could probably already start firing. Let's see if the crossbows will get a, a nice angle from uh, this uh, from this position. Let's take a look at these bolts. Now they're going to get ar arcing shots, and that's not as good as the other shots, but they will still work pretty great. Ah, uh, it looks like the Witch King is already on his way. You gotta run. Don't want to lose the catapult. I suppose um, large, you can go down here as well. And you try to retreat a little bit. You guys could probably come here now, just to intervene with the Witch King if needed. Yeah, they're going to go around here. That's just perfect. Okay, everyone just target Witch King. Or actually, let's see the crossbows do some work on these guys. You guys gotta run and take out the Temple Knights. We are going to get the catapult out, I'm certain. You gotta take on the orc host. Let's just uh, surround the units which have a gun over here. Yeah, Lurch is going to be able to bring down the Temple Knights. And you guys should probably stop firing. Should target these guys instead. Let's just wait a little bit with these guys. I'm going to use these guys inside the city. Whenever that comes uh, in handy. Let's bring in down the Berserkers as well. Yeah, you guys target the temple knights. I don't think we're going to be able to capture them. It looks like they are retreating now. You're just going to stand like this. You will keep standing over here. And you guys take the catapult and let's try to snipe out their general. The witch king. Alright, so I've been thinking guys, and I thought it would be quite um, interesting if I started making faction reviews, uh, where I rate the different uh, factions on different points. Just look at this, it's like one guy from both. Alright, let's uh, try to hit the Urk Halberds with some flaming shots. 
Catapults can be used very well against AI, especially on bridges. Oh, jeez, that was close. We're probably going to to ruin some of these buildings. It's definitely going to be worth it. You guys can start hitting the ore coast. Now, today we're definitely going to see some action um, with the ring. And I really, really hope that we can um, be successful in that manner and get the ring. I don't know if we're going to be able to take it today, but we'll have to see about it. And remember, uh, we need to spread out uh, the the ancillaries, because we probably have more than, I believe it's seven or eight. We need to have less than seven or eight um, on Saruman. So we ha we'll just have to fix the that. Yeah, you can just keep doing what to do. You guys see the Uruks? They will probably get quite shredded. Right, let's just make a whole a nice position here. Oh, that's a nice hit. That's what we want to see. Yeah, we're going to be able to capture this uh, city very easily. Now, let's see. Now we can finally see the crossbows in a proper situation. Because firing straight, like these guys, that's how you want the crossbows to, to work. I'm just going to let uh, the catapult do some work. That's beautiful. And I will probably see you after this battle because it's just going to be a long, choky battle, uh, which we're going to win. Uh, so I'll see you right after the battle. The Witch King falls! Just look, that was kind of epic cinematic. Right, bring them down, lurks. Slay them all! That is just so epic, I love that ability. Right, you guys are almost down. But yeah, what I was talking about earlier is um, I really wanted some kind of um, some kind of faction reviews where I rate different factions on different uh, perspectives, like their units, their economy, uh, and such things. And their starches. Uh, so if you would like me to make some of those for um, many factions. I think that would be a nice addition to this uh, channel. So please give me some feedback on whether you want uh, such readers or not. Alright, we lost 442 and we killed lots. Berserkers getting very many kills. Most. Very nice. Now, uh, Urs Eslad is uh, ours again. And we can actually recruit units around in Moderna. And we are making a profit. Even though we have like three large armies headed towards Karaskaladhorn uh, which basically just means we are going to be able to hold the settlements we took because Mordor has just been so idle probably because they were quite shocked of what happened to them weren't really able to prepare now this is also a nice picture it's probably in the around the forts of Eisen if I'm not mistaken. There was a lot of battles going on right there. It's where Theodor had fell. Alright, uh, let's just occupy, get some more money. And we can recruit units in not too long. Let's repair this. And we're making solid money once again. This is awesome. This unit is just going to be sacrificed. In this settlement, we are going to build all the units we can. As well as here. Wow, we can actually get Urkai Infantry and Urkai Pikemen in 5 turns. That's awesome. Now I guess we should start going for these uh, kind of beast breeders and such. Because we really want to get some Olokai. I think at least we can get them from those. What is wood cutting? Aye, I see. Okay, uh, the... Let's see. We were talk. We were looking at the beast cages. Yeah, we can we can recruit Olag High as Isengard. That's awesome. So let's uh, let's get those when we can. We can get some more units here as well. Just strengthen the garrison as well as here. We're still making solid money. 
sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Yeah. Suppose we can still keep Listen. going, actually. No sleeping here. I'm gonna stick you. Put your feet up. And how long was it? Yeah, only a couple of turns until we can recruit no from here as well. Side attack I don't really care about. Astrum is going to be a pain because he could start sieging out this place. This army we also need to deal with, but we are recruiting units a lot of these places. And we can just pull them out and attack Sagbug when it is needed. Over here, yeah, we're still just moving troops and we can't move them before next turn. So we have Othrod, we have Saruman, and we have Uglock, and we have some extra units. So it will be like three armies, which will be able to take out Kalaskaladon, most certainly. But we do have this army, but we can ignore it for the meantime. Now, on the western border, we gotta wait a little turn, and then we're going to take out these armies, and we're going to head out for Kalembo, and just start pushing Gondor um, in the center. Suppose these guys could stay here. And now let's... Like honestly we could go straight for Baradur. But I'm not sure if we'll get, get the, the Nazgul bodyguards. Uh, if we take down ba Baradur before we have acquired a ring. So we might just want to go and take out the other settlements first. And just surround Baradur completely. It's kind of stupid but it's probably how we need it to be. Alright, we'll have to attack him the next turn. And then it's just to end the turn, I think. Uh, what about anyway? Oh, yeah, they're fighting. That's nice. Still can't recruit units here. But in next turn it shouldn't be too long. Let's just get these guys in here for some more money. And our money is... It's alright. Considering how many units we are using and such. Now I'm I'm curious to do I'm curious about what the army in the east area is going to do if it's going to follow after Salmon. That would be kind of interesting. Now wh when we are going for Karaskaladon, I want to just bring down Lorien for once. Oh yeah, they're going to try to attack Oyugurs again. Ah, uh, that Nazgul just killed himself. I want to snipe him out with a catapult shot. Will Mordor definitely shit themselves? Like, taking out Mordor with Ice Guard isn't really that difficult because you can recruit units almost immediately because of your culture. So I gotta say, it's been not that hard at all. Dolgul Durbasic, Heartlands of the Haradrim. Alright, Oglock. Realm of Lothlorien, you are going down nonetheless. We might want to attack this, but we don't really have a lot of archers in this uh, army. And our main focus is of course going to be... Is of course going to be the... Kara Skullet Horn. Oh, that might have been stupid, they might actually attack this army now. Yeah, think about that. We'll have to see. We do have a lot of wargs and we have some real infantry here actually. We have upgraded berserkers. Urukai pikemen, which we have never seen in battle before. And we have recruited a lot. Yeah, we're just going to go straight for Lorien. Uh, Karaskaladon. Where Saruman needs to get rid of some of his ancillaries. Let's see how many he got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we gotta get rid of one. Let's just give away the horn or something. Urukai champion. Uzglurus. We can now recruit pikemen from here. And some Urukai infantry. Beautiful. Just going to wait a little bit with uh, Uzglagurs. I can't really... This is the problem with giving them such weird names. It's that you can't really remember where they are. Let's just upgrade it. And that's going to be the money spent this turn. 
Sagbu can just you. stay there for now. Get ready for fighting. We are just going to be able to handle today. these troops quite easily. Lughorn, you need to take out Bodon now. You are just sieging these guys out, so that will be no problem. Alright. That wasn't too bad, actually. I just didn't really want to fight that battle out. Nice. Now, let's just merge the units. This isn't too bad. Okay, now we are heading for Kalendo. Boron Survival. It's not really efficient to auto resolve it's just when you're at this point in the campaign it's not very interesting to play such battles like that one the beast cage still here is so weird that a ground dust yeah they can't really pull out enough units but i'm just going to have that a ground there as a buffer against anyway We're going to let Saruman lead his army and we're going to um, swap our Gluck. Or we, we need to wait for Saruman, kind of. Uzgukut is going down this turn. They might rebel, of course, because they have a large army. But I'm going to win that battle quite easily. Then we'll be out, out on our way again. Uh, let's just get some more of these pikemen. It's nice to just have them stationed here. Or I suppose we should really focus in the heartlands over here instead. These guys are even getting free upkeep. It's quite amazing to be honest. We can recruit trolls in not too long as well. Okay, so Jindur Dondef, you are going down. And Sagtak will also go down. Okay, I will fight this battle off uh, camera and I will be right back. Look at this! The Nazgul is running away from the Berserkers. Jeez. Can he get a charge in? Let's see what will happen. Oh, he will get a kill. But yeah, I just use my archers and crossbows and catapult. And then I just use Lurch, so that we didn't really have to lose any proper units. But it's no surprise that the Temple Wards will rack up kills no, nonetheless. They slaughtered half of uh, Lurch units. Now he's, not go he's just going to be stun locked for a little while. That's how this works out. They have a lot of hit points though. The best way to deal with the Temple Wars is Javis and Arches. And of course Catapults, but Catapults aren't that accurate. It's kind of insane how many hit points this guy actually has. Should die pretty quickly now. Mordor as a faction is at the moment a bit boring, but it's more for the people who have not played played the mod a lot. But in the future they are going to add a subjugation system like they have for the Northern Dune line. So that faction is going to be pumped up quite a bit. Wow, he's, he's even getting kills. This is very pathetic. Can't actually believe how many hit points this guy has. There he goes. I thought this was going to be a lot quicker, but it really wasn't. Is this at the Battle of the Five Armies? Like this kind of style looks like a Battle of the Five Armies. Yeah, it's more the Battle of the Five Armies than the last battle at the Black Gate. I don't really know. Looks like uh, some kind of um, work. Okay, we need to bring down this guy as well. I'm going to fight that battle off camera as well. And I'll be right back. 
There we go. Let's go. I love this picture. Uh, it's the sailing of the Rohirrim on their way towards um, Minas Tirith, which is under siege. This might... I'm not sure what this uh, place might be, to be honest. But it's uh, close to the White Mountains, so it could potentially be Dunharrow. Uh, let's just run some else. And there we go. Now... Askrom and Astrak could still be a pain in the ass. So just going to bring them down. Let's see how much upkeep we get over here. One, three, okay. Let's just send another unit up here. Now Sagbu can do whatever he wants. Uh, I'm able to handle him wherever he wants, whatever he wants to do. Okay, nice. So now our armies is going to be made up of only Urukai infantry, Urukai pikemen, crossbows, and the um, and the berserkers. Hmm. Let's just save the money for now. There's nothing much we can do with it, to be honest. Mother actually holds this settlement as well, but I'm not too worried about it. But they could potentially push out a lot of units though. But uh, we we just have to focus on Karaskalaton. Now let's see if they actually sally out in Uzgukut. I would imagine they would. But uh, one can't know for sure. What I would love to do is, uh, when we get the Nazkai, to use um, the Nazkai against the Rune itself, the Fire Nation. The ah, they're now attacking. They're attacking the camp. And the guy over at Oyugurs looks like a proper army. And they are selling out. I'm going to fight this battle off camera though. I don't think it's going to be too much interest. Yeah, they will have a lot of orcs, but we should be able to handle them very easily. So I'll just see you right after the battle. A slaughter it was. Did lose 23%. Wasn't too bad. I guess it's to be expected. Urkai bodyguards did very well. Wow. I just sent them into a large blob and just let them fight out a very hard situation. And it turns out they did very well, actually. Now we're just going to push straight north with this army as well. And um, might want to go for um, Theory Thunderin, but I'm not really sure about it. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just occupy. That's going to bring us some more money as well. And we took the fort, nice. And they didn't even rise up, that's just excellent. Good news on all fronts, and we have 16,000. We're making solid money again. Oh, they are sieging out here. But uh, they are using a very small army. We're the most advanced faction. That's always cool. Musra, that looks like a real army. Oh. Yeah, these guys might be able to pull on. Uh, we really have to take care of Musra though. Yeah, but he can't move at least. That's a wow. They just have like three units and they're all very good. Okay, let's get the bee spreader. I want to get the Olog high as quickly as possible now. can get these guys as well. Dominion of Isengard uh, performed the best in most case. Uh, where did we check that? I can't really remember where I saw that. I'm a bit tired. Let's um, let's wait a bit with building anything here.
Let's just check out the rune. They're already at war with a lot of factions, but they always perform very well. And there the large army is back. Okay. Okay, let's get it there. Let's just get it here as well. We're going to recruit lots and lots of trolls in this region. Now, I, here is what I'm really caring about. Get ready for fighting. And there we go, that's a much more powerful army. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. No sleeping, no sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. And now let's head out. Let's repair this one. And we can already recruit here, but I don't really care about this place. Let's just merge units. I guess we can keep offload here. No sleeping here. And we're just taking the whole army uh, to Saruman. Now we're going to recruit, actually, we're going to build as much shit as we can. Let's get the drill square, actually, let's use, build the beast breeder in Isengard as well, perhaps. Alright, we can wait with it. Let's get these guys. And no look on. Get ready for fighting. You're Get almost them. there. And there is Angbor the Fearless. That's cool. He's a steward now. But he will fall, sadly. Okay, soon we can fill up these forts. That will be a great addition. And then it was just to do his stupid armies. Musrad, I'm going to fight this battle off camera. It's just another modder stack. I'll see you after battle. Alright, we slaughtered the army. It was a successful battle. The catapult didn't get that many kills, but... It was useful. Anyways. Even the Sauron's will routed. I think the Sauron's will should be impossible to rout, like they are after all the greatest Uruks that Sauron has to offer. They should be a real force to be reckoned with and they should not, they should be able to die for their master. Yeah, the relations is worsened, no surprise there. Oh, I didn't really want to fight this, but it uh, it is very useful to bring down these guys. Um, okay. I will fight this battle off and I will be right back. Okay, we killed the first army and we can't really attack this one. So we'll just have to wait for next turn. And I think I have to deal with these armies as well. There's a lot of off cameras battles, but if I showed all of these battles, it could become quite boring, uh, to be honest. Like, there is of course a reason why I don't show these battles. Gorodorf and Sargon. Let's just get that proper general down there. Oh, it's purely orcs. These guys got the Uruk Arches, we haven't even seen them yet. Uh, let's get a couple of more units. But these guys are up here as well. That's going to be a hard battle. I suppose we could get some troops. Now these armies are kind of matched, uh, but why do we not have any wargs? Ah, uh, we do. Let's get these wargs up here. 
And in addition, let's get these guys up here, which will have free upkeep. We definitely need more units up there to be able to defend it properly. These guys as well. Now, let's hope he attacks Henethanun. And let's actually send this guy over here. Because if they attack, let's just make... Yeah, this is fine. Then we can just kill him on the bridge. If they attack Hyandros, it will be the same situation though. So, it's going to work out. Uh, whatever. Let's just get this guy first and I'll get uh, side boogie after. I'll fight more battles off camera. He took an axe to his belly and he fell. Now, fighting off Uruk Halberts isn't that hard when you just surround them. There we go. That was one army. And I'll see you after the second army. Look at this chaos. They're getting completely obliterated. I don't think we're going to catch uh, most of these guys even. Now, let's just try to make them run into... Yeah, this is nice. Like, Mora is just so trash if they don't have a proper general. When they have an Asgore, it's, it's alright. They're not that trash. But when they don't even have a general, it's just all over for them. They can't really perform anything. If you are able to surround them or just make them have bad morale. If you just bring the other general, they will just suffer so badly. But we didn't even do that and Uruks just started routing in large numbers. It just comes to show how... What kind of units the modder really has. But if you use uh, the modder armies, it's not going to be an issue as long as you use uh, a proper general. But having a large motor, uh, motor army without any general would, will just, uh, yeah, it's not going to work out. There's not that much that is needed to really route your units. Okay, that was nice. Uh, I'm thinking about actually, oh yeah, well, we're going to need this guy for Maubug. So for now, let's just have these units in kind of reserve. I suppose. Yeah, let's just have him here for now. Can wait a little bit. And can we move any further? No. Uh, this is going to be assaulted now. Might be able to defend ourselves. Just barely, if we are lucky. I'm gonna stick yeah. you. Get ready for Let's fighting. we'll just mop up a lot of these uh, armies in the meantime. Let's just send these guys up as well. This lone Urukai ready we can probably remove. These guys will just join Lutz for the party. Get ready for Have a taste of my blade. I'm gonna stick you. Yeah, I'm not going to care about that army this turn. Even though we could have made him sally out. Ugluk, oh, Ugluk is want? only Objective yeah, for five turns uh, until he's sieging Karaskalathorn. I don't remember exactly. Oh wow, Haradrim is is quite uh, hard into these lands. We haven't really been seeing what's happening, but I guess it's time we start. Taking out Utata and such now. Yeah, let's just get another war unit. We're just making 2,000. It's, it's fine. I think Yugondor is getting wrecked by the Haradrim now. I think Dol Amroth is also struggling. That's why they have been pressuring almost nothing uh, lately. Yeah, Lorien didn't attack from Rockburg. Mordor though, it will be interesting to see what they do. Yeah, they are going to assault the Moranon. We do have a Ballista there, and we do have a couple of units. I don't know what they got. 
but the ballista will certainly work in our favor. Ah oh, yes, they're going straight into our trap. We'll be able to use the um, the bridge against them. They are actually just keep going over here. We might want to take out that settlement. I think they're going for Uzgukut. Or perhaps Sauron is sending his own servants for the ring. Not really that it is possible in this mod, but... Ah... Khan Doom on the siege. Wow. Angmar is struggling. Okay, now Saruman, you will finally take care of some real army here. How many archers do you have? Here. One, two, three, four. Let's bring some more archers with you, shall we? Come on, get ready for fighting. Listen up, listen up. No sleeping here. Listen up. Or listen up. Okay, I think uh, we should probably fix the ancillaries right now so that we don't have to do that later and then these two armies can just move together which is going to be much more useful ah all right wait a bit okay now they are in the same army okay let's give the horn to Uglak. It didn't work out. It might be locked. What about the Urukai champion? There's not a lot of this shit which is working. To yeah, we need to get rid of someone. Doesn't really look like this is working out. Is this because Uglock has a lot himself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't really know the limit for ancillaries in this game. We might have to send in another general. Have you come to negotiate? Get ready for fighting. Listen up, listen up. Get ready for fighting. Okay, let's just see. We tried. Let's just try this one as well. Yeah, we have tried them all now. What if we take them out in separate armies though? Will that work? Alright, I think we need another general like Othrod. Yeah, it will, it will surely, surely work with him. Because he got nobody. Now Saruman is leading the elite army as well, that's cool. And we can probably make these two armies into having a super nice army. These guys, or this guy will be here in turn. Saruman will be able to deal with him then. Now, we might want to he uh, head out with Uglock next turn and just start sieging out Karos Kaladhorn, even though we're not going to attack, uh, just so that the ring can't escape. Yeah, that's surely important. Let's get these guys here. Moro is probably coming for our lands. Yeah, it's fine over here. Let's get the Beast Breeder when we can. Ashgash will need to be dealt with. Now we at least have some more land of sight. Yeah, we're probably going to lose Moranon. It's not a big deal. Okay. Let's just get units here as well. 
And we need to take care of this guy. Just couldn't care less about those units to be honest. I'm going to start hitting us Ethan now. It's time we bring them down in this area. But actually I really want to get... Yeah, they have taken out probably Brethin. Can we leave just... Yeah, that's fine. We're going to get these wargs, which will be useful. No sleeping here. I guess another warg unit will also be quite nice. Okay, and you guys are just going to attack Mal Malbug. Okay, so I will fight this battle off, and I will be right back. Let's just check over here first. Get ready for fighting. Yeah, they Get already have a large army here. He might go for Saraland. I'm just going to send these guys over here. Then we can defi defend all of these places if we really need to. And now we should be fine against the cavalry force that they bring. Yeah, it's time to end uh, Gondor's reign over here. I'm looking forward to when we start making some money again, and then we can finally push out some real units. Okay, so I'll, I'll defeat these guys and I'll be right back after battle. There we go. They just went to two separate parts of the bridge and they just let me slaughter them. Their morale just killed them so easily. I think Mordor should get a little bit more morale just for the cause of making them a more interesting faction to play against. Because it's just no challenge at all. But on the other hand, when you're using Gondor, you don't have the same numbers and they will not route as easily as they do here, of course. So I guess they are pretty balanced. Alright, nice. That's some more money. And Ashka shall be dealt with the next turn. Oh jeez, we don't actually have the movement points. This will be interesting. Let's uh, bring out the Ballista. Yeah, we might lose Moranon. But we really want Moranon to be honest. It's very useful. We are recruiting more here now. And we shall take Utatau. This episode is on its spring. Yeah, let's do one more turn. I just really want to see how things evolve. And we shall get a spy into the heartlands of the Haradrim. I really want to see how they are doing. Now I hope that the ancillaries with the Saruman will fix itself. If not, we'll just have to remove it with sheets. Just to make it happen. Because, of course, that's not going to stop us from acquiring the One Ring. And to be honest, this is our one chance to get one ring. Karas Galadon is like the only place which is close enough. Uh, I think these guys are going to win, probably. They have a lot of Oracles, which is not a bad unit. We have some more Kai Raiders. And we have a Ballista and some Archers. I will fight it out and I'll be right back. I'll, uh, let's hope we can do it. He's called Drango, so definitely good luck. We brought him down. It was very successful. Uh, the Ballista definitely got some kills. Let's see how much. It got 186. It was quite even among all the troops, so that's that's excellent. Now we can recruit the Urkai Pikemen and Urkai Infantry in two turns. That will be very useful on, in, on this front, definitely. 
to be honest, if they had sent uh, because one of their units just they just sent it in so late, they might have been able to overwhelm us. But it's the air we are talking about, guys. Oh no. It might not work out. We're going to try to adopt a general. If we are lucky, that will happen. Oh, he actually attacked Lurtz. That's going to be very useful. Now, I am going to fight this battle off camera as well. It's just endless of motor stacks. And it's the shit happening up here that we really care about at this point. So I will see you after battle. All right, we lost 25%, uh, but it was a very successful battle. We just, uh, in the end, we just used our catapult and they just got utterly broken. I don't think we captured the general though, so that's a bummer, but I th it's fine. Just going to bring them to a number under 30. So that they don't return, there we go. Okay, um, that was wonderful. 200 with a spear guard. 242 with catapult, very good. Alright, so... I am not showing all of these battles just because I think it will get long and tedious. But please keep, leave me some feedback if I'm balancing it out uh, correctly at the moment. Like, it isn't uh, always uh, easy to know if I portray enough of the battles or if I portray too much like I'm just doing what I think is to correct though there we go it was actually quite wonderful that he attacked us now we don't have to worry about Ori Ogres oh they are coming with more armies but they're probably just meat but I think we want to head lurch uh, up towards the north in Ori Ogres we could Probably send troops towards Moran and try to save it, even though I don't think that's going to happen. No, we don't need him. All right, now let's just try this deal with the Othrod. Let's hope it works out now. There we go. Wonderful. It actually worked out. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, now he should have uh, one spot. I'm just just going to do that, even though this is a nice trait. I'm just going to give it away for the meantime, just because we want to make sure it works out correctly. Okay, but that's wonderful. We now know that it works. And now we have three generals here. Okay. We might see it in the next episode. Okay, some troops recruited. That doesn't really matter. The episode is going to end in this turn though. We have been playing for quite a long time. Let's get these guys in Oitimor. Moranen will not hold out. These guys will not be able to reach either. We'll just have to hope that these guys are enough. Uh, they might be, but I, I highly doubt it. Alright, we'll spend all our coffers. I'm going to send Lurch back and actually defend settlements now. These guys can go to Sago, of course. I suppose we could send a few units over to Sago, of course. Now we're starting to stack up a couple of units. Up. Get 
Saglun will start sieging out Ostis then. And now let's take a look at what has happened over here. Ah, oh, wow, Ankantar is here. That's very cool. Got the great beasts and still some temple wards left. Yeah, we are probably going to get into war with these guys in not too long. Let's just uh, hope that uh, Uto Tau and we can take Uto Tau and that would be enough for now. What does he got? Ah, uh, Lamelon Clansman, of course. It worked out. Uh, well, this is going to be for the next episode. I'm going to fight this off camera and we are going to start seeing battles over here. Actually, I'm going to fight it now. I really just want to see what will happen next turn up here and then we can probably get the entirety of capturing the ring in the next uh, episode. So I'm going to fight this battle off uh, quickly. IT IT, we brought them down. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to capture the city though, because we did not capture all of these troops. Oh, we haven't even... There's still someone alive, somewhere. Oh no, please. That's how stupid the game can be sometimes. These came back from the routing. As soon as they route, there we go. Now nah, I think Dol Amroth is in trouble, in big trouble. You saw that Khan had taken, um, what is it called, Tirthoros, and and Kanta was there, so it probably means there's some real ass armies here. There we go. Yeah, they will get a couple of troops in there. At least the steward is dead. And we should be able to office on this battle next episode. Wouldn't be too hard. And now it's only this battle that I also have to take care of, probably. These guys can stay in here. Let's uh, just retreat our block for now. This water hall from here. We'll be able to recruit more units. Let's just bring all of these units up, up here in case they don't attack this turn. Get ready for fighting! I don't know where Mother is now. I do not know what the elves will do once we take this place. They are recruiting at a rapid pace. We might want to start setting up these places properly. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice. I just hope we're not too late. Like, if this ring script is working properly. Then we should be able to take the ring. But you never know. Such things can be buggy sometimes. Did Mora, uh, we'll, we're going to see now if they attack or not. They're probably going to attack though. Why would they not? They actually didn't. Wow, and I'm glad I actually uh, moved those reinforcements into, into the fort. Now we can hold Moranon for a while. I'm going to send in my spy and see what encounter is causing. Um, Barim fleet on the move. Miflon is going to go down in not too long. Yeah. Uh, where is... Ready. Hurry up. Ready. This oh, they're still holding Fanyland. But yeah, as, as we thought, the Amroth is on siege. And these guys, it's the army that encounter sent because they have these overpowered units. 
that army is quite cool and we actually face it in our contouring campaign uh, it's it's quite interesting Q stalled yeah, these guys will come in as reinforcements going to fight that battle later now let's see what will happen here this is the interesting part oh wow we are only one turn away guys two turns however I can start besieging it with Aglak probably and then just let Saruman take over the army but he, uh, Saruman must be the only one to capture the town that's very important let's just send these guys up here as well uh, we're going to siege out Lim here at the same time I think we should prepare some more guys over here, just in case uh, um, Lauren starts wrecking havoc over here. Yeah, we can soon get the trolls. We've the enemy. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. That should give us some more money once again. How to rename this place. Making 4,000 a turn. I'm not just holding this place. Oh, Harad even holds this place now. I'm quite certain. Where's our spy? Can't really see anymore. But they do hold this region. Uh, Gondor is on its last toes now. Uh, I think we should hurry for these settlements get ready for just to get them before get uh, other factions. I will only address you. Kill them all. Yeah, they are fucked now. Um, it depends to see if we should push for Dol Amroth or not. But I'm going to handle that in the next episode. We have been playing for quite a while now. Uh, yeah, but we should definitely start setting up these places. We haven't really been doing much of this lately. It's been mostly the war in Mordor. I'm gonna stick you. Yeah, they, they come back with more units. We do have these settlements properly defended. Get ready for fight. This as well, we're going to fight this battle. We're going to fight this battle. There's going to be a lot that happens. Can now finally start uh, recruiting these guys. That's very cool. But yeah, I'll have to shut the episode down for now. Uh, I think it was it was a lot of small battles that I had to play off camera. But uh, we are definitely going to see the ring soon, which is really what we are uh, hyped about at this point. And we're going to see the pikes and the guards of Orthanc. Or thank God. And Saruman does have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so there is just to be safe. So that's going to work out. Get ready for and Ogluck, he will move and leave here. And we can probably take down Castle Doom while we are here, just to get a large income bonus. And then it remains to be seen if we are going to attack this part of the world. That could very much become quite boring i don't know it could be interesting as well attacking khan with loads of pikemen and of course mortar will be brought down but we could have pushed for Baradur. and now of course but i think the nazgul won't appear in our nazg high army when we get the ring so that's why i'm a bit that's why i'm waiting a bit i'll have to see about it but I think this campaign is going very, being very successful now. It's going to be a nice time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you enjoy this content and are, and are not subscribed already. Um, so I'll see you guys.